Alright, so hello Mr. Cambridge. When last time someone called you Mr. Cambridge? You get a, you get a, you know, sometimes and sometimes you get, you know, tall prayer and sometimes you get pre, sometimes you get, you know, uncle pre, different, different names, you know. But I answer all of them, so. especially once you, you refer to that, you're looking at me, I answer. Okay, okay, okay. Good to know. And you have an album coming out on Friday, the 23rd, called The Valley of Vibes. The Valley of Vibes. What is the Valley of Vibes? I'm going to the place where you love to be. Link up with my friends and my family. Have a couple of drinks in the Hennessy. Yeah, you know the vibes. Well, well, I mean, something like that. I've been in the making for time because. You know, I've been talking about years of vibes mm -hmm. from Tulby, whether it's from the dance I see, you know, to the early years of Soka, which would have been 1997. It was pure vibes from then, so from dance hall to Soka, and to all the years come up, you know, it's been vibes. But um, just putting everything together musically, I feel like I'm in a in a position to like where you get a different song because the music change, you know, it's, it's an, uh, an evolution in everything. Whether it's music, life, the clothes, the, everything you do, there's a change. And I just feel it's the right time to bring that new song, that new vibe of Talpri. I think I, I am mature enough I'm at a stage in my life where I can bring everything together in one valley of vibes. And speaking of valley of vibes, would you give that same definition about the song itself, the name song on the album? Yeah, definitely, and most of the songs, because you get a new song. As I said in the intro, it, it, it's not the jab songs you, you're looking out you know, far from Talbri, because we... And you work with experts for this. Tell me about that new people relationship. Yeah, man, the energy with expert production, I must say, 110% I give them credit. Creditation. I give them, you know, all the respect in the world, because it just came together by... I think when it began, we, I knew of experts, and they knew of me, obviously. They came up with the idea, hey, why not we do a, you know, an EP? I said, okay, why not? Let's go. I went to Carrick, we started the project one time. It was just before the, the coronavirus. And we did a few songs. Then, you know, with that vibe, they just keep free. We have another song here, we have another. Until it reached 11, you know, and 11 cannot be an EP anymore, so. There, there, is, there goes the album. You have to call it one thing, and, you know. and that's what it is, and just like that. So a favorite song on the album, because let me tell you, I have a favorite song. Okay. What about your favorite song? Well, I think I have a few favorite songs. Mm -hmm. you know? um, I like the idea of bringing back the, the humble song. This is a tune. It's a tune I did about uh, 17, 18. 2004 to be exact. You, know, you probably were a baby at the time. If you were born. Yeah, man, I Alright, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and it's a tune people always call and you know, it's a tune talked about for years. But I know the, the younger the youths, probably most of them uh, weren't born as yet. Or uh, they were little kids. Probably it, it was not their type of song or song to listen to. It was sort of slow, conscious. You know, the kids would still be into that jump, the dance, the whatever. And um, it's one of my favorite tunes of all time, too. I, I think because of the amount of time I put into that one, I think it's a tune that took me the longest to write. And I, I just, it's really close to my heart. So, And it's basically a reality tune. So we were just playing around this. I asked John and Disney, they were 
I want to sell. It was just a conversation. They said no. And they said I said play that song. And they were like, what? Play that song. We can tune for the outro. But we just have to speed it and say let's go with it because a tune as a and I say always close to my heart. And, you know, I just put on a voice and I left. And, and when I heard the magic from it, I was like, these men are genius. The way they, they put everything together. Big up the export production and gain uh, and much I could say. They just out of this world. Well, I'm just a humble servant, trying to help myself with a God given talent, lyrics in abundance, and no form of wealth. All right, so tell me about the collaborations on the album. Who do you have on Valley of Arts? Yeah, um, I have some of my good friends. We're talking about Terra the Governor, Jab, he's like a Jab Prince. You know, we're talking about. Slaughter is like another job ambassador. We're talking about Lil Kerry, you know, who is like just bringing you hits after hits. You know, very talented. This is a very talented group. I also have Valley Ned. You know the vocals, Valley Ned. Kerry, you know, um, very special talent. So big up to Valley Ned. And Rhea Lane from Babylon. Never met her, just heard some of her work. You know, she's a, you know, a wicked vocalist. That's the word I'm using here. And uh, she, she brought it on this track. And um, yeah, big up to all the other artists, you know, Kelsey, because anytime it can happen with them, but these are the artists I feature on the album this time. But, you know, I'm, I'm impressed with the works. Okay. And challenges that came along the way. Now, I know Corona came and basically turned the world upside down. How did it affect you and by extension, and most, the most relevant question, how did it affect Valia Vibes? Yeah, well, um, as you know, Corona affected the entire world and especially the entertainment industry because a lot of other industries back up and people are going to work since then. Some people never even you know, left the job, you know what I'm saying? Um, but since then, I can tell you, artists and entertainment and the industry been on the low, been down, and it may continue for, you know, maybe the next year or two, I hope not, you know? Um, so it, it affected everyone in every way, and I can tell you, normally I have my annual concert pre day, I have the the Ocotal, the kids fed. You know, we have so many different events abroad because this is where we, this is how I survive and most of the entertainers, this is our daily bread, you know, is when you get to go to do an event, whether it's Trinidad, there's Miami, anyway, there's a carnival in the world, basically we are there, not in the Caribbean, you know, I do, annually I do most of these things. And so there's none of that, so, there is no income coming in, but there's still the bills to pay. So if Corona was a thing right now, how would you have launched the album? How would you have launched the Valley of Vibes? Well, it would have been definitely, you know, something to be done in a, in a big way. I, I normally, I have different launch. I would, you know, do a press launch. I do kind of a launch. I do launch of, you know, the, the free day, I do different lunch, but something like that, that album, which is, is as I said earlier, so close to my heart in every way, this the, the music, the style, the, the voice, the entire production, I would have done it in a big way. This is all I gotta say. I would have artist friends coming from abroad, the media, the everything, it would have done in a big way, and, and I, would, I, I would think that it would have been done in a and, and big open event in a big, in a subway, but you know, somewhere, some venue open where you can have a fete, a party, and everything together, a celebration. So it would have been more like a celebration of Talbot over the years. Speaking of celebrations, you have some nuggets on this album. Let's talk videos. 
what is in store visual wise? Yeah, man, well, this is the way to go, you know, you know. You don't just do songs these days. You know, you have the entire production which will include, you know, video included. So definitely look out. We are going to choose a few songs. Definitely some of the favorites. And definitely there will be video, you know, to accompany those songs. You know, in turn, whether it's promotion, whether it's just having a visual towards it. And, you know, this is the way to go. So look out. The videos are coming. And even though the album is coming out now, what next can we expect from you? Is that too soon to ask? I have a clothing line in the making that that of course because that's that's been there for a while now and with the corona it was just before corona it would have been launched. You know, around March I think it was April and we had to take it up but look out for the clothing line coming soon. And you will just get Chef Talby doing something for real because I cook every day. I love cooking. This is one of my number one hobbies. I'm telling you this. I love cooking. I cook basically every day. People know me for when I'm cooking at the block or at home. I, I, I love cooking. So, with the time on my hands, I'm, I'm tempted to do all different things because there is time on my hands. So, um, you know, don't be surprised. But uh, the clothing line definitely, you know, as soon as we would get that on board, as it's like 90% finished. And just music from Talpray, the videos to come, the album, singles, and just music from Talpray. Alright. Well, I think that is a wrap. Thank you so much for sitting with me in this beautiful place talking about Value of Life. Anything you would like the public to know about Value of Vibes and the upcoming album on a whole? Well, I just want to say, I want to give a lot of thanks. You know, respect and enough thanks in export production because, as you know, over the years, a few years, the type of music on a whole would be sort of on the domino. Um, if I go back, I can say, like, um, it's probably about five years now, you didn't get real solid work from Talpe. And I know the fans have been asking and been begging. I know when I go to certain places, I would ask, I would get questions free. Oh, what, what's going on? We need something. We need... So, you know, experts, uh, they know. I mean, the people know when I jump on a stage, same way. You know, I have repertoire, to have tunes from way back when to now I can still do my thing. but. I think I needed some, some, a shaking up in the business, you know, like, so that export production work bring something new to the table. It's a revival, I can say. Talpre is back. And trust me, look how this is just a new beginning. I'm here. And it's, got, it's a lot more in store. So big up to export production. And big up to the fans who stay close. I don't call them fans no more. I, I take back there. Big up to my people. Because these are the people who have been there for all the years gone by and still stand firm with me. So we got to the people.